What is up guys, this is Dave with a brand new video for FM Scout. Today we're going to be looking at Slavan Bilic at West Ham United. He hasn't got the job yet, but he's strongly linked and he's the bookie's favourite to get the job at the bowling ground. So we're going to have a quick look at um, West Ham as a whole first before we start it off. And obviously in the Premier League and Slavan Bilic is their manager. I have uh, done all the promotions and relegations for the upcoming 15 to 16 seasons uh, and I've put West Ham in the Europa League which they will be in next season too. Uh, Bilic got a big job on his hands to obviously steady the ship at West Ham and do well in Europa League. He's got really good mental stats obviously bar the physiotherapy but 19 adaptability and 16 determination. Um, 15 tactical knowledge and 15 judging player ability and potential so he uh, has a good eye for players too so be interested to see who he brings into West Ham. Obviously, Captain Kevin um, Nolan, who's probably aging a bit now, to be fair to him, 32 years old. It'd be interesting to see what Bilic does with the current squad that they've got now, if we go on general info. Obviously, they've got the likes of uh, Diafra Sacco, Enna Valencia, who are some decent players. Alex Song still on loan. It'd be interesting to see what he does with him. But we will skip through the first season and see how Bilic does in his first season as boss of West Ham United. Okay guys, so we've, in, we've done the first season, now we'll check out how Slavin Bilic and West Ham are doing. We'll make sure he's still there first. Uh, oh, not Graham Wesley, wrong person. Oh, West Ham United. And he's still in charge. They finished ninth in the Premier League, that's not bad at all. Um, 53 points, it's good considering they uh, had Europa League in the middle of it. Bournemouth did really well actually as well. Um, none of the promoted sides went down. But yeah, West Ham had a decent season. Top half finish isn't bad. Finished on a negative goal difference though. Uh, quite a way off 8th, 7th, etc. Manchester United ended up winning the league. We'll see how West Ham did in the fixtures. Uh, we'll get their schedule up. And we will disregard things such as... Europa League and stuff for the time being. Premier League run wise, didn't start off great. They didn't. He didn't win his first game till October. Uh, had him beat in October. Um, decent run rounds December time. A bit of an inconsistent season really for Bilic in his first year. FA Cup got to the third round. or knocked out by Middlesbrough. Took them to a replay and lost away in the replay there. Capital One Cup lost in the third round to Stoke and Europa League couldn't get out the group they had to do all the qualifiers I had Partizan, Dinamo Kiev and Red Bull wasn't the easiest of groups to be fair to them now, they only lost two of the games we'll check out that group actually see how it went Villarreal ended up winning the actual thing but Group C was it there they finished third two points off uh, no, three points rather off um, qualifying, but they had a minus one record. See who Bilic brought in. He's already set to sign Sebastian Letget, but he only brought two players in, interestingly. Nick Powell in on loan and George Cooper, um, who only made two subs off a bench. More of a youth player. Didn't really bring in any new players. Uh, Sebastian Letget there. Wait, was he coming in or leaving? Oh, he's leaving, sorry. Um, I didn't really make any much first team movements, which uh, was interesting. But it'll be interesting to see how he does next season. I feel he can build on that top half of the uh, table finish, especially as they were in the Europa League last year. See if he can get them to qualify for the Europa League next year and do slightly better in the cup tournaments. Um, but we'll see how he does in the next season. So we are finished with the second season. We'll just see how West Ham are doing under Slavan Bilic. And they finished in sixth position. That's really, really strong from Slavan Bilic and Co. We'll see if he's had any upgrades of his stats. Not noticeable. I think these tacticals gone up slightly. Uh, but that is a really strong season from West Ham. Europa League, which I predicted they may have done. Uh, a strong season. A really good positive goal difference, 2 of 15 and 18 wins on the board too. We'll first look if he made any significant transfers um, because 
Uh, I would have predicted, yeah, he spent 12.35 million, not as much as he probably could have spent. But uh, Fabian Johnson in from Mönchengladbach, uh, Soreo from Ajax, uh, Matej Delac, uh, McEachern and Callas from Chelsea, Traore from Barca, Iori from Liverpool, Seydou Keita and Gunn. So some experience and youth players there in the shape of Keita and a few uh, younger players such as Delac and McEachern. Well, that's uh, some stronger signings. We'll see his schedule, see how he did. Um, filters. So obviously they've only just qualified for the Europa League. So the Premier League. Um, again, mixed. His losses came in bunches, but he had some good runs here. Uh, beat United, and Arsenal and Everton three in a row around December time. That was decent. And towards the end of the season, they didn't lose for a long while from uh, February till the end of almost the end of April, which is a, a really decent, and the smash United 4-0 towards the end of the season, that must have been uh, key, we're 2 not up in 4 minutes there, um, FA Cup wise, they did ok there, got to 6th round, unfortunately lost on a replay to City, um, Capital and Cup, uh, they lost in the 3rd round to Leicester, we'll see who was their top goal scorer this season, in the shape of, um, we'll check out stats and we'll go overall. And goal wise, the top goal scorer was Diafra Sacco, closely followed by Valencia and Amalfitano. Downing got quite a few as well. Assists, Mark Noble got 13, so not bad from him. And the best average rating was for Aaron Cresswell at left back, who got 6 assists and 6 player matches. A really good season from Slavon Bilic and West Ham United. It'd be interesting to see if they can carry on and go a bit stronger, keep that Europa League place despite again being in the Europa League, and see how he strengthens the squad, see if he brings in any stronger players. So we'll now go on to how he does in the third season. So we're on to the third season, well at the end of the third season, and hopefully we can see if Slavon Bilic has built on his West Ham success up from last year. So we'll have a quick search here and see how he did, and West Ham finished 14th, and he is no longer the manager of West Ham. It's Andre Villas-Boas, and the curse of getting Europa League seems to have cost him his job. There's been two managers since him. Um... He resigned from the role. He's now the England manager. Well, fair play to Slaman Bilic. He has took a massive step up. He's now the manager of the national squad. Uh, I'm guessing he left West Ham to do so. And he certainly did. Fair play to Slaman Bilic. That's what happened. He didn't manage uh, West Ham this season. But he's now the England manager. And... Uh, his mental stats have definitely increased at adaptability at 19. But uh, Javier Aguirre and Andre Villas Boas are the two managers since uh, he got sacked, the Mexican, and Andre Villas Boas, the manager. It'll be interesting to see how they did anyway in the Europa League. So they finished 14th, uh, not a great season, but uh, quite safe from relegation. Um, we'll see how they did in the well, Capital One Cup, they were shocking. FA Cup, they were poor too. And Europa League, uh, knocked out in the first knockout round, losing 4 1 in aggregate. Um, Premier League, see if they had any decent runs. Oh, I really guess they didn't. They're really inconsistent. Longest win streak was 3 here, when unbeaten at 5 through March but uh, it was a pretty poor season a whole for West Ham as a club I don't think uh, Bilic would have brought any of his uh, players in uh, 14 million they spent I think did he bring he may have brought these two guys in before he left a few of these players uh, Rabeo, Sousa, Trippier a lot of players left 7.25 million worth uh, main money coming for Fabian Johnson to Napoli but as a whole, Bilic has really increased his stature in football and obviously has ended up as a manager of the England national team. Um, I'm not too sure how they're doing at the moment. We'll see how his career stats for them are. 71% win rate, which isn't bad at all. He's only lost the one game for England. Um, I'm sure we could quickly check what that is before the end of the video. Um, you've got a draw against... 
Uh, it was against South Korea in a friendly, but you know he's, he hasn't lost against Germany. He's beaten a few of a decent teams along the way. So it's a really, really good career for Slaven Bilic. who's still quite young as a manager at 48. Uh, on the game, he's even younger in real life. So it'll be interesting if he does get the West Ham job to see how he does because to get West Ham into Europe. Um, especially with their new stadium season after next, could be really interesting for West Ham as a club. And it's kind of a make or break moment. So if you did enjoy this episode, guys, make sure you do drop a like down below. Comment with any queries or any new videos you want to see from FM Scout. And don't forget to subscribe to FM Scout's channel. And don't forget, sub forget sorry, to subscribe to my channel, Dave Has A Party. Link in the description below. And I'll see you all next time. Thanks.